All right, let's do a project polish update because it's nearing now two months, which I'm really surprised about. I thought it only been a month. Let's get on into it. We have a lot to talk about because I did quite a bit of manicures um, and I have a lot of progress and I finished a couple polishes, which I'm always really, really excited about. So I'm going to start off with two polishes, the darkest ones, because these are the ones that I've my goal was to work on these the most in the, you know, the next or since my last update basically skyscraper I did work on but I didn't focus as much on this one like I did with indigo from Zoya and now I lost my marking on this guy great um, so skyscraper you guys will see a close-up of this guy but um, I started off up here I was right there my last update and now I'm down to here I worn this one. I can't remember if I wore it as a man. Well, I did wear it as a manicure combined with Zoya's Indigo. I did a half and half nail. Um, so that was really, really pretty. But I also worn it as a pedicure. And I've been wearing it as a pedicure because I've been wanting color. I think that was a struggle this past month is I wanted to wear color. And so um, I wanted to do different things with the darker polishes, which is what you're going to see indigo especially incorporated into so many different manicures because i still wanted to enjoy it and i did i'm happy that i not only used uh like a different finished top coat i did a glossy top coat a matte top coat i added um either a topper or just used it in different ways right so indigo is one that i focused on quite a bit and this guy i started up here I was there last time. I think that's where I was last time. And then now I'm done with it. <laughs> You're gonna be able to see maybe a smidge of this in this bottle, but it's done those. It just doesn't apply anymore. It doesn't glide on the nails. I actually have to manipulate the polish because it is so thick. And the last manicure, I actually added a, a few drops of thinner just to try to get it on my nails. And I only did one coat of it because it's so dang thick so i am completely done with this guy although i'm marking it here it's like it's pretty much done i can see through this bottle all the way at the bottom so use this guy as a base for a couple toppers i used um color clubs what is this called pearl Spective, which is a little kind of shifty topper that shifts from like a pink to peach or something like that i think it ended up looking a little bit more purple on the nails which is really really pretty i also used a vega over top of it i did alternating nails i didn't take the best picture of it i wasn't a fan of the alternating nails um but i used anyways i used uh, chanticali's vega this topper was really really beautiful over top of indigo i actually wore this pair as a pedicure and i freaking loved it it looked like a beetle I don't know it just it looked amazing 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 so when I went to try it as a manicure I did the alternating and that's what I, I did the alternating toppers and that's what I did not um, did not end up liking I used it as a base for a splatter paint design I used it to stamp over top of halo graphic and did a chevron print that was really pretty I did a half and half nail with this uh, with indigo and then a yellow polish and I did a dotted cure that was really pretty some of the dots looked a little warped but I thought it was a really cool manicure because of the contrast of the color that was I, I really enjoyed that one I used it with atomic splash from Orly so two nails I did indigo I think this was the last manicure that I I I did using indigo where I did two nails with indigo mattified by itself right and then two nails I used indigo as a base and then atomic splash from Orly which is a, like a gunmetal metallic glitters put this guy over top of indigo and did a glossy top coat really enjoyed that manicure quite a bit actually i thought it looked really really pretty and then of course i think i mentioned i used it with skyscraper from um china glaze and did like a half and half nail that was really pretty as well the next two polishes are two of the brighter polishes that i have here i have pacific blue and Pacific Blue, I was up here and now I'm down to here. I wore this guy as a manicure. I wore it as a pedicure. I used it in a gradient combined with another pink polish that I have in um, in this project. Let's see, where else did I use it? So I did the gradient. I used it for the splatter paint design combined with Indigo from Zoya. 
and I think that's about all I used it for. Really enjoyed this guy. I think it's really beautiful. And then Sunkissed from Sally Hansen. I wore it by itself. I used it in this like really not very good Easter nails. I didn't even wear it an entire day because I did not like the way that it looked. I tried something different dropping um, little dots onto a sponge and tried to uh, just sponge it in place onto my nails and I did not like how that turned out so this guy was full and now I'm down to here so brought it down quite a bit I also used it as a pedicure maybe I used it in the gradient I can't remember if I did I want to say that I possibly did combine it with um, Inca Dinka Pink from Nicole Bio PI which is another polish that I have in this project as well as with um, Pacific Blue from Sally Hansen. The last of the full size that I've been working on is Inca Dinka Pink. This guy is Dunzo's. It doesn't dry anymore. I did bring it all the way down here. So I started up here and then I'm finishing up right here. I think that's where I started. I don't know why I have extra lines and I want to say that I've just been marking it myself along the way in the past couple of months. I can't remember and I didn't watch my last video. But anyways, I, that's where I started and I am finishing it off right here. I wore this guy by itself and I also used Vega from Chanticali over top of it. Although the manicure looked really pretty, I feel like this ba this color base doesn't feature this polish its best, but I still really enjoyed that, uh, that manicure. I wore it also as a pedicure. I used it, I think I incorporated it into the gradient, but I cannot remember for the life of me. And I know I used it for that sponge, like dot sponge on my nails that I I'm not too happy about. I'm kind of surprised I actually captured a manicure of that, but um, didn't really enjoy it that way for sure. But this guy's completely done, so happy about that. Let's see, I think that's the last of the full size. So moving on to the three minis that I've been working on. I have We The Female and that guy I have down there. This was completely full. I had don't. Th I think that's where I was last time and I have not touched it since, since then because I just have not been in the mood for it. So that's been set to the side. This little sea blue one from Wet n Wild, that's where I started and then I'm right down here. I used this guy as a pedicure, loved it as a pedicure. Actually, I wore it a couple times as a pedicure. I also used it in that ugly Easter Manny. <laughs> I'm gonna call it the ugly Easter Manny because I really did not like that one. And I think that's all I used it for. Yeah. And then this little mauve one, love this guy. I wore it, um, I wanna say I wore it, I can't remember if I just wore it by itself. No, I wore it with Halo Graphic from Color Club and did this on all of the nails. And then I did a gradient, a holographic um, polish gradient on my nails. I just started doing that. I want to try to get a little bit better at it. I think the gradient worked out really well. It turned out really beautiful. It looks super beautiful in direct sunlight because of all of the, the little rainbows from um, Halo Graphic. And I also wore this guy as a pedicure. And I'm not a fan of this color on my toes. It's just I was not feeling it. I much more... Um, enjoyed it as a manicure. It had a really good formula, a couple coats, and I really like colors like these. I think these for me are like my neutrals, you know, because if I need a like a palette cleanser, just a break from color, this is the kind of color that I tend to, to turn to, I think, most times. And it's really beautiful. I'm really happy with this guy. And I think that's it update-wise. So finished two polishes. And goals, before I mention the polish, I'm going to be adding on um goals is to work on these two especially continue working these guys down and let's see let's actually mark this again i need to put a little top coat so i stop m losing my um my lines here i definitely want to finish these two little minis out this one i think only has one manicure left because it it narrows down now towards the bottom so it looks like there's a little bit quite a bit left but there's not very much left because the I've gone through the widest part of this bottle. So I think I could get at least one manicure out of it. And then I definitely want to finish this guy out. So I want to focus on this guy um, maybe as a pedicure because I love this color as a pedicure. I thought it was really, really beautiful. And I want to definitely finish those two little minis out by next update. And then adding on. All right, so let's uh, look at our wheel here actually because these are the two first official polishes that i have finished so super excited about that let's see yep these two 
So this is what the color wheel looks like at the moment. Okay, actually, I did finish this other little mini one, which I mentioned in a previous update. So I finished one little mini and two full size, basically. This, this little guy and these two guys. I'm all over the place in this video, I don't know why. Okay, so polishes I'm going to be adding in. I'm going to add Sonia Kashuk's Sweet Cheeks. Because if I finish the one from Wet n Wild, I want to have a color like this that's kind of neutral palette cleanser, kind of a basic color in my opinion for me personally. Um, I want to have still something like this in the project. And I really, I loved this polish a long time ago. And I haven't worn it in a really long time. So I'm starting at the halfway point for that one. Sun Kiss Silver from L'Oreal is a white, but it has a drop of black in it. And so I think this kind of color is really great year round and I definitely want to use, well, I want to use it, I mean, just in general, but I'd be mean, like, I especially want to use it for spring and for summer mainly, but this will be a really good polish to bring into even the fall and the winter as well. Formula is not the best. I haven't worn this in a long time. I think I've only ever applied this once or twice. So it is pretty much full because there is no line, nothing. It, it it's just completely full so i think i remember that one being a three coater if i remember correctly and i'm also going to add two other little minis because i do plan on finishing these two minis pretty quickly maybe in the next couple of weeks or something like that i would like to add these two i mentioned before that i i have quite a few minis that i want to go through so this kind of orange red one from opi i don't know the name so i'll leave the serial number down below and then this other pink one it's a brighter pink definitely from sonia kashuk sweet cheeks you can see this is more definitely more toned down and kind of like a i guess you could say like a neutral kind of color that's work appropriate and, and so on and so forth so is this but it is brighter so this little pink one. I'll also leave the little serial number down below. So all together, I am working on, let's see, one, two, three, four, five full size, which is what I always want to try to have on hand. And I'm also working on um, five minis. So I'm going to paint my little color wheel after I'm done with this video. That is everything, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I really enjoy it. I hope that you guys are having great success in your project polish. And I thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.